Tonight we're at Firhill in Glasgow for the Six Nations clash between Scotland under 20 and England under 20. Both sides come here with identical records so far this season. 1-1, one, one, drawn one, lost one. So there's a lot at stake tonight as these young players stake a claim for their international future. Scotland led out by Stuart McInally to face an English side, almost half of whom ply their trade in the Guinness Premiership. So well, it's going to be a tough one for the Scots this evening. And early on, Scots taking the game to the English. That turnover ball there. Put out by scrum half Sam Harrison. We are Sam Smith. Halted in his tracks there. And Harrison again. And this time the link man prop Joe Marler. Nice we offload to hooker Jamie George. Scott defence here in numbers with the ball out to Rory Clegg. Lovely wee chip through. Bit of indecision there between Alex Blair and Alex Black. And striding through between them Andy Fosai for the opening try for England after only four minutes. The forward conversion for Clegg, seven points to nil. And the Scots will be annoyed with themselves for giving away that try, that's for sure. Jacob Rowan taking that one at the back of the line out. Harrison to Clegg, this ball there, whoa. And that was just a wee bitty high. But the referee playing advantage, Lee Emiolek charging on. The ball nicked by Jim Johnson, but back for the penalty, and Clegg. No problem, taking England up to 10 points to nil. And the Scots holding the opposition pretty well at the set piece. And wah, a lovely wee nick there by Alex Black at the base of the scrum. The Scots piling in and taken away there by McAnally. Black out to Blair to Alex Dunbar. And the referee spotted an infringement and no advantage to Scotland. And that one back. Up steps Blair. And that was the Scots on the board after 11 minutes. That penalty straight through the post. <laughs> 17 minutes gone. And all oh, the Scots messing up that line out on their own 22. Ball out to Clegg. Long ball out there. And Marcus Watson able to virtually stroll in. Simple try of a bad, bad mistake for the Scots. The go kick for Clegg, but whoops, when it's going for you, it's going for you. In off the post. England 17 points to three ahead after only 17 minutes. McAnally linking with Blair. Then Barr again taking on the English defence. Black. Pop up this time to Robert Harley, the big West lock thundering on there. Terrific drive by the Scots. Blair to Nicky Little, knocked over only five metres from the English line. Taken on by McAnally, referee spotted the offence, no advantage to Scotland. And this time, simple kick for Alex Blair. 17 points to six after 24 minutes. And the Scots managed to keep it at that scoreline until four minutes from the end of the half. And hooker Jimmy George knocking Alex Blair over. Finally knocked down, but the ball set up for Harrison. Up to the Scots, 22. Desperate defence here by the Scots, but Robert Harley in there knocking some of the big fellas back. But the ball still coming back pretty sweetly for Harrison. Charlie Matthews on the charge. Put it up for Denton. The Scots defence handling that pretty well, but offending on the ground. And Clegg, easy kick this time, straight through the post. 20 points to six, with a couple of minutes of the half remaining. Harrison, testing kick there. And oh, well taken by Dougie Fife. But nabbed by the English. Looking for the turnover, doesn't get it. Blair 
We can get the ball well downfield for a bit of position, but straight to number eight, Jackson Ray. Inside to Clegg. Clegg opening it up. Full back, Tom Catrick. Knocked over on the English 10 metre line. Scott's keeping play inside the English half as the clock ran down towards half time. But then great take by winger Sam Smith. Eluding a couple of tackles there. Oh, lovely, lovely hands by the English. Battering on there by Jimmy Gibson. Only a couple of metres from the line. And there to finish it off. Big lock, Charlie Matthews crashing over. Right on the half time whistle. Oh dear, the Scots will rue giving that one away. And it was seven points in the end. Running that one over, 27 points is six at half time, England ahead. Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. The Scots were going to have to crank it up in the second half. And they were taking the game to the English, knocking them back there at the line out. But pretty secure ball for Sam Harrison. Popping it up there for Jackson Ray. Up to the halfway line. This time out to Clegg. Putting it out wide. Oh, nice wee break there by Andy Forsyth. Held up by the Scots, though. England winning it again. This time up to replacement prop, Michael Winnipola. Hey, hey, that's a big lump of a boy in the hoof, isn't he? The English going to spread it wide here. Jimmy George to Charlie Matthews. Matthews knocked over by Robert Harley. But the ball switched out wide. But oh, what a guttle there. And right into the lap of Alex Blair. And he's stretching away from Jacob Rowan. Oh, and this was going to be the first Scottish try of the night. Only it wasn't. Referee spotting a wee fumble as Alex Blair touched down. And Blair, oh yes, he knows. Ten minutes to go, the Scots looking for points. Chris Hamilton out to Matt Scott. Inside ball there, but well read by the English defence. Hamilton up to McAnally over the 22. Hamilton waiting for that one. And oh, the Keith Ness scrum half spotting a wee gap there. Knocked over by Tom Catrick. But Robert Harley and his cohorts there in numbers. The Scots really putting the pressure on now. Blair going to ground with that one, but making the ball available. English defence working hard, but Hamilton out to Scott and McAnally again. Oh boy, if anybody deserves a try in the second half, he does. And the Scots up to five metres from the English line. Harrison to Scott. The Curry standoff sensing a wee gap there. All down, only a couple of metres short. And oh, Hamilton now only inches short. But the referee having a good look at this one. Scotland held up over the line. And the English defence coming out on top yet again. Into the final play of the game. The ball again spread out wide by England. Oh, and great break there by Andy Forsyth. But his pass going behind Will Welsh into touch. And that was it. Final play of the game. Scotland 6, England 27. There was a lot of free throw rugby at half time, I thought, uh, before uh, half time. But then it was a bit scrappy second half, to be fair to Scotland. They came out firing in the second half, started really well, and we um, we struggled to match them. To be fair, no, bitterly disappointed. I thought uh, first half, you know, we were trying to open them up, but we just couldn't keep hold of the ball. And I said, I said to them at half time, you know, you're going to be really disappointed with yourselves tomorrow when you look at analysis, because well, they took every point they had, we actually gave them, and uh, and I think they'll be disappointed when they look at that first half as for the analysis tomorrow. So what did you say? to do in the second half because it was it was different it was completely different well I said you know we know we can play and we, we just didn't play I said we got to go up into the three gears here and for me sports about momentum and I said we need to go and generate the momentum second half and I think you saw that from the first whistle of second half and we never get up but not to score second half I, I couldn't believe that but I suppose they didn't score either no they didn't and Scotland will look back on that second half and think well, we certainly gave it our best shot, but the English power, physicality and pace were just too much for them in that first half. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Fur Hill.